As the confetti flew, fans waved towels, and the Saskatchewan Rattlers celebrated a first ever Canadian Elite Basketball League Championship. Michael Linklater was in the center of it all. He raced into the stands to hug his mom. Then his teammates lifted him up at center court. Before that game, Linklater announced he'd be retiring from basketball when it was over. The 36-year-old from the Thunderchild First Nation means what he said. He's giving it all up. He's got his eyes on another goal, and he joins me now in Saskatoon. Thanks for being here. Thanks for having me. So what was that moment like, winning it all in Saskatoon? It was very surreal uh, to be able to have our friends and our family to be able to support us right there in the stands was, was something that was very meaningful to me. So it's something that uh, I'll cherish for, for the rest of my life. Now we know that the Olympics added three by three next year, three on three next year. What made you decide to walk away now? It was, I've been on the world tour for the past seven years and our tournaments are one weekend we're in Japan and the next weekend we're in Europe and then we're back in China. So it was very hectic for, for me personally. Uh, I have my own family. So to be dedicating myself to the amount of time that it's taken to, I guess, get myself to that level and then travel was, was very taxing on me. So um, just coming up on this year, I was just really weighing all the pros and cons of everything and looking back on my career. And one of the reasons to kind of hang it up was my three-on-three -three counterparts were um, going through some of their personal stuff as well. So we weren't able to continue on with our team, which was very unfortunate, but we were very uh, blessed to have that opportunity to, to compete on the world stage and to represent our national team at the World Cup two years ago. Okay, so let's look to the future. You've got some pretty big goals. Yeah, uh, I'm just, um, I'm really excited about how I can uh, be a builder of, of communities and of, of programs and just wanting to help where I can. Um, FIBA reached out to me and they've invited me to Budapest next week to uh, speak to their U23 athletes for uh, the World Games out there. So I'm going to be doing that. Uh, the Boys with Braids international campaign, I'm still very active with that. Um, I was approached by the Saskatoon Public Schools Foundation to uh, be a co-chair for a fundraising initiative that they're doing for literacy which will help benefit um, some of the inner city youth here in Saskatoon. I'm also working on getting an outdoor basketball court uh, built, a premier court here on the banks of the river and it's something that uh, we're very passionate about and uh, that's called Hoist the Hoops. So just, just really staying um, active within the community. No kidding, that's a lot on the go. <laughs> yeah, I just, uh, I'm, I've, my passion for basketball has carried me this far and I've been very fortunate to establish a, a worldwide network of contacts of phenomenal people. So to be able to utilize that um, experience now and, and to give back. There are a lot of young people that look up to you. What advice do you have for young athletes these days? I, anytime I get a chance to, to speak with youth, I always tell them to believe in themselves. I think when I've, when I've been across from other motivational speakers and presenters, that was one of the biggest things going for them was the belief in themselves. A lot of people and a lot of things were going against them, but it was their own belief that, that was able to help them persevere. So uh, just, just continuing to encourage them to, to do their best uh, because sometimes your best is not always, I guess, the best in the world. Like when we look at the Olympics, for example, world records are always being broken. So having uh, youth being satisfied with their best effort and knowing that that's okay. Well, Michael, you certainly went out on top. Thank you so much for being here. Good luck with all these goals. I know with uh, the level of success you've had, I, it can only continue. Thank you.